In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly import or shall I say cite a reference in your assignment. Now earlier I showed you in a previous video how to set up EndNote as a plugin with Microsoft Word. In this instance I'm using Microsoft Word 2010. When you have done that you should have the EndNote plugin here. Now you may be asked to log on and if you are asked to log on you simply enter your CIT username and password that you have used to log on to my EndNote and here you have the ribbon showing all of the features of the plugin for Microsoft Word and this day at this particular stage I would recommend that you open the online EndNote website also so what I want to do is I want to incorporate a reference in regards to my research topic about DALI. If I go down to my groups down here I have only one reference but for the purposes of this example it's efficient to use just one. I, so I click on DALI and here it is there. Now if I go back into Microsoft Word I want to incorporate a reference to back up this assertion it has been noted that Dali has incorporated Christianized symbolism in his surrealist art. That's an assertion that I've made and now I want to cite the location of a... Re uh, I want to basically cite that fact. So I go up to insert citations and here it's a little bit basic but what one would do is type in a keyword I'm going to type in DALI because I only have one reference in regards to that and I drag it up here and here's my reference so I'm happy that's the one I'm going to cite I press cite and here it is here is the article cited and here at the end of the Word document is the the reference to that citation. Now if you want to change the various styles of form of referencing you go up here at the moment it's APA 6 but you have a number of different options here Harvard, Harvard UL and by selecting various styles the reference styles change within your document also in real time. And that's more or less it really, there's not much else to say about that, so you would continue on in citing various aspects of references in your assignment. And that is the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching.